a fantastic picture was taken very recently by a Chinese photographer. And you will see in this new video that this picture shows a remarkably clear view of a classic, a very classic flying saucer. Hi everyone, welcome on UFO Section 51. I am Dos Geek and I am always very delighted to welcome you in a new video on this channel. Thank you again for your support, for your likes, for your sharings and also welcome the new subscribers on the channel UFO Section 51. This is a channel created in 2014 dedicated to this very mysterious this very hot topic of the ufos today we are going to talk about new pictures that have emerged very recently on the internet and you will see that these pictures show very sharply uh, something that look like a, a very classic flying saucer and i have to say that it's usually very rare to have that kind of pictures showing very clearly a ufo these pictures were published uh, on the social networks i think that you can see them uh, also on tiktok but here we are on a reddit it was posted by scientist ok 3115 ufo captured by a chinese photographer in september 16th 2024 in city of Tiamen. i think uh, that you can say like this a Chinese photographer named Sirenim saw something strange when he tried to capture the clouds. Then he took a picture and posted it on social media. This is his first post about this topic. The previous photos were all about natural scenery, city landscapes, sky and clouds. And here are the photos. The first photo uh, with the credit of the name of uh, Sirenim, you can see in the middle of the picture this strange looking metallic object. It looks like a disc shaped object. This one is closer and we can clearly see the, the round shape of this object, a classic flying saucer. We have some uh, reflection or maybe some light on the top of the object. Here it's a wide shot with the sun in the background behind the clouds and creating some kind of flare effect and here the description in Chinese of this picture translation in the afternoon of September 16th captured something similar to UAP in the city of Tiamen and here are some pictures of his account it seems to be Instagram or maybe uh, TikTok, I don't know. What we can say at least is that the, these are very clear pictures, very clear photos of this UFO. Let's read the following comments. Now that's a good photo. It's like the older flying saucer photographs I'm used to seeing in my vintage UFO books. It's an older model, sir, but it checks out. I would like to talk to you about your saucer's extended warranty. <laughs> Supply chain issues, the old stuff still works great. <laughs> That's a Camaro, no, a Mustang of UFO ships. <laughs> Aliens are having a tough time too in this economy. Do you think they can just go out and get the latest model UFO? <laughs> the Millennium Falcon was an old model too, but it still completed the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. <laughs> Inflation must be a bitch on their planet too. <laughs> I think a lot of people don't think about the lack of optics in modern cell phones. Yeah, we all have phones, but they are not designed to photograph objects in the sky. I wonder if he was using a real digital camera with lenses. He is a photographer specifically taking pictures of the sky. I'm certain he was using a DSLR with a proper lens configured to capture good quality images of the sky. This is exactly what is not in a cell phone. Can someone reach out to him to see if he will post the raw file. Yes, that's a good question. Because the raw file could uh, help to um, analyze the picture and to prove that it's not a manipulated picture. When I look at these pictures, 
Uh, I have still some doubt. I am really shared on the origin of the object on the pictures. I am not really sure that uh, these pictures are manipulated. I would say it's 50-50. That's why I found these pictures interesting because it's really difficult to know if these pictures are authentic and if, the, if it is the case, it would be really amazing. And if not, they are really well edited. Well, it's definitely not a plane. It's the sports model. <laughs> like the one of uh, Bob Lazar. What's happening the last two days global quality upgrade of camera's software? And the, the other is answering. New patch was released Monday. <laughs> iPhone 16 release. <laughs> Amazing, what a great picture. Yes, this appears to be a genuine UFO. Awesome. I can't tell if people are sarcastically upvoting this or not. Yes, that's a nice uh, reaction. Compared to 99% of what we generally get here for pictures and videos, this one is good. Let's just hope it's real. Not sure if OP has submitted the raw data yet, but we need that. Is it just me or are sightings becoming more common recently? I honestly can't tell if it's just bias from being interested in the subject plus increase in popularity or not. Do you believe UAPs pose a potential threat to our national security? Yes. The, the technology that we faced was far superior than anything that we had. Do you believe that our government is in possession of UAPs? Absolutely, based on interviewing uh, over 40 witnesses over four years. Biologics came with some of these recoveries. Oh my gosh, dude. More coverage, less stigma, less cloaking. That, and we are seeing more and more coverage in news media too. Media coverage is definitely kicking up a gear, I think. Hard to say if there is an actual increase, though. Weird sky stuff has been seen since forever. And I think that the media are getting more and more interested in this topic, because it's also a way to make buzz on the internet and to get uh, more and more views, a very attractive topic. The topic of UFOs is always triggering the curiosity of people. Can we get the metadata for the image file? Somebody make a I want to believe poster out of this. So let's check, <laughs> let's check it. And here is the poster. <laughs> I want to believe. <laughs> nice. I haven't seen it, but most pictures aren't this clear. Maybe it's a China reverse engineer. A lot of people asking for the raw data. It's worth pointing out that this guy is an actual photographer. Posting something fake like this would be detrimental to his credibility as a photographer. So I doubt this guy would post a prank like this for the hell of it. Worth thinking about. That's a good comment. Uh, and uh, I didn't think about it. Yes, that's an interesting point of view. I thought the opposite and thought that as a struggling photographer, what better way to get views on my page, on at least one of my posts, to get followers from a particular niche that's grown larger lately. I have no idea if it's real or not, and it very well could be real and shouldn't be dismissed. This was just my first thought. And Bob Lazar fan is saying, it's an amateur photographer with 1000 followers. You're acting like it's some well-known photographer with millions of followers. I hope China beats everyone to the punch with regards to disclosure and make everybody else look like assholes. You know what I was thinking? Do you remember in the 1950s and the 60s when there was that challenge, that course between the US and Russia? that course to the space, and especially the course to the moon. The objective was to be the first on the moon. Knowing all this, some of you will certainly say me, you know, we never really went on the moon. <laughs> but that's not the question. Here it would be very interesting to see the birth of some kind of course between Russia and the US and maybe uh, China, other countries, some course to the disclosure, some kind of challenge. It would be really challenging on a worldly scale in order to get very quickly uh, to the disclosure. 
which country will be the first one to make this big disclosure about the UFOs, about all these UFO archives. Here we, in France, we also have UFO archives with the, this um, national office, the Japan. A fantastic picture taken by a photographer in China provides a remarkably clear view of a classic flying saucer floating in the sky. The tremendous image was reportedly snapped on Monday in the city of Tiamen by an individual identified as Sirenim on Chinese social media. The self-described amateur street photographer subsequently shared the picture online, marveling that they had captured something similar to a UAP. The curious object seen in the image resembles a disc-shaped craft that sports a band across the middle and appears to be metallic as the sun reflects off the top of the UFO. So guys, what do you think of these pictures? Sincerely, it's very difficult for me to certify that these pictures are uh, authentic or not. We saw in the comments on Reddit that uh, people are very shared on uh, the authenticity of these pictures. Are we dealing with a professional photographer? I will say an honest photographer, because in that case, he doesn't have interest to share that kind of pictures on his account on social networks. Indeed, he must know that putting that kind of pictures on his account, it would generate some negative effects and a lot of negative comments with a lot of trolls, a lot of people who don't believe in UFOs and are always laughing about people posting that kind of pictures. This is very risky when you put that kind of pictures on your personal account on the internet. Why would a professional photographer publish that kind of pictures on his personal account knowing that it can affect in a negative way his own professional career? Somewhere it's the same situation as the US Navy pilots or the US military who have witnessed something while they were on duty and they prefer to stay silent in order to preserve their uh, career. So maybe there is a lot of chances that these pictures are authentic. And if it's the case, these are amazing pictures, some amazing new proofs of the existence of non-human life in this world and visiting us on a regular basis. So guys, thank you for watching this new video. I hope you liked it. And I am very curious. I can't wait to read your feelings about the authenticity of these pictures. What do you think? How would you explain these pictures? The more proofs like these with UFOs we will have in the future, the more seriously this topic will be taken by the media, of course, and more and more people, and especially the authorities in the different countries. Maybe after all that will help to put more and more pressure on our own governments in order to get closer to this big disclosure that we are all waiting for. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing to the channel if you are new here. Once again, that was a very good and very interesting UFO sighting and that's why I wanted to share it with you. We will see in a new video on this channel very soon. So stay tuned, stay connected to the channel UFO Section 51. Keep your eyes on the sky. And of course, as usual, live long and prosper.